very good day to you people my name is Mohit and today I'll show you how we actually create a dynamic circular preloader in Adobe Flash Professional C CS 5.5 let me open up a recent item a document guys preloaders.fla guys uh, this is a circular preloader that I just created for you and uh, let me run it to show you the end product first I just pressed control enter once and I'm gonna do it once again to simulate the download notice guys that uh, this uh, circular movement or the circular rotation is directly tied to the percentage once the percentage uh, does 100% uh, the circle will do a complete 360 degrees and bang comes the picture nature is so beautiful guys nature is, is godliness okay let me come off this uh, Publish preview guys what uh, what we'll do is we will uh, create this uh, project afresh and uh, you'll get a much better idea what I've done uh, before I actually start uh, creating this project let me tell you guys it took me around three hours to work up the logic for this uh, circular preloader it wasn't very easy you may have seen many rectangular uh, bars uh, preloaders you know running from left to right but that that's pretty easy but to make a circular preloader that does 360 degrees uh, after 100% uh, of the timeline has uh, been loaded wasn't so easy I think the idea that I've tried is pretty unique uh, you will uh, soon find out it's original guys it's unique I I, I don't think so. I've seen anyone uh, actually do this probably somebody else might have thought of the same thing but uh, in my mind it's unique let's get started I'll say a fun and a new Guys, this time there are two tabs. Uh, one is the general tab, one is the templates tab. I'll, I'll go inside the templates tab, choose the sample files, and then choose the second last option, which, which is uh, preloader for SWF. I'll say OK. Guys, Flash already gives us a sample file that uh, helps us to make a preloader. It has uh, three layers and two frames. And on the second frame, guys, uh, a large content is supposed to go so before we can actually test this uh, ready-made preloader that flash gives us I need to replace this text field which says large content goes here with my own picture I'm gonna delete this uh, text field and I'm gonna import a picture onto the stage just coming up guys give me a sec too big for my stage uh, let me drop the size down let me align it properly okay that's okay that should be fine I'm gonna save this file I'm gonna call it uh, preloader very good so guys uh, let me run uh, do a control enter and uh, show to you what does the sample file do a control enter and again to simulate it guys uh, the file that flash gives us is is a pulsating loading text sign okay zooming in at and, and zooming out and we have a white text field that's incrementing from uh, 1 to 100 and bang comes the picture on completion of 100% very very good so let's take the playhead back to the very first frame on which I'm going to draw a circular preloader all right I'm gonna click on the oval primitive tool guys I'm gonna draw a circle after pressing the shift key it's very important if you need to draw a, a circle or not, not an oval now let me draw a big circle yeah that's fine all right and then guys uh, when when I select the oval primitive tool I get these oval options the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, increase the radius to a 90 let me uh, enter 90 here manually okay looks like a ring now next what I'm gonna do is let me increase the start angle to a 90 again 90 okay and the end angle to let's say 270 all right beautiful I've got a half a circle here I'm gonna do a copy and a paste control C control V and then 
uh, the second half I'm going to rotate it using the free transform tool shortcut key Q, Q for cubic. Let me drag the corner around pressing the shift key. Okay, that's good. I'm going to convert the right half uh, into a movie clip. Press F8. Guys, the registration point for the right half is not in one. I'm going to ignore the position. I'm going to say OK. And for the left half, guys, uh, I'm going to convert it to a symbol once again. Press F8. Guys, this time, the registration point is pretty, pretty important. It's got to be middle, right. Middle, right. Guys, middle, right. Pay attention to that. That's OK. So, guys, uh, then I'm going to join the two... Uh, half circles together making sure that that I align them properly this looks good to me very nice so guys we actually have two half circles the left half and the right half okay now guys uh, I'll tell you how this logic works I'm gonna keep the right half stationary but I'm gonna rotate the left half and the rotation of the left half directly depends upon the uh, percentage loaded also guys this this left half is going to be masked by the right half so I'm gonna keep this left half as the object that's gonna be masked and the right half as the object uh, that will act like the mask okay let me uh, go inside the actions there guys guys this is the script that is ready-made with the sample file 15 lines what I did was I, I included five uh, script you know scripting lines of five action script three uh, state uh, five action script three statements of my own after line number eight and I made the circular preloader work so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my original file which has uh, the script ready I'm gonna copy these five lines from line number 9 to line number 13 I'm gonna say copy go back to the new one that we are just creating for this uh, tutorial I'm gonna dump these five lines after line number 8 and now instead of uh, 15 lines of action strip 3 we have 20 lines of action strip 3 guys yep is that right Cool. So uh, let me try and explain these five uh, uh, new lines that have been added to the sample files. These five lines, guys, make uh, the circular preloader animate work properly. Now, I've created a variable called counter, and this counter is equal to uh, the percentage loaded, which uh, starts from one, goes up to hundred. And I multiplied it by 3.6. Now, guys, when when uh, the timeline has loaded completely 100%, if you multiply 100% by 3.6, gives you 360. So I would want the circle to rotate 360 degrees when 100% completes. I'm sorry. Similarly, when the load percentage is 50, if you multiply that by 3.6, gives you 180. I would want the circular preloader. To do half a circle you know just 180 degrees so basically uh, with the help of this counter the variable called counter I am linking the percentage to the rotation how much should the you know circular preloader rotate this is controlled by this variable counter next guys uh, I have called the left half mask underscore MC and the right half masking underscore MC because the right half is the mask for the left half let me go back to the action script so what I've done is I have in line number 10 written mask underscore MC that's the left half uh, left half circle to be masked by the right half circle and then I've kept the right half of the circle stationary and I've rotated the left half by as much as so mass underscore MC dot rotation make it equal to counter 
so if the load percent age is 100 percent make it rotate by 360 degrees if it's 50 percent make it rotate by uh, 180 degrees if the load percentage is uh, 90 make it rotate by uh, 45 degrees so guys uh, I, I'm telling flash please rotate mass underscore MC the left half of the circle by as much as the variable counter okay and then in line number 13 now this is uh, very sly and foxy what I've done is I've removed the mask the condition is if mass underscore MC dot rotation is less than zero now this condition where the the rotation is less than zero happens when the left half does 180 degrees and uh, to prove my point I've actually traced the mass underscore MC in line number 12 okay so once the left half guys does complete half circle 180 degrees I've removed the mask and the way to remove the mask is by writing mass underscore MC dot mask is equal to null or is equal to nothing that will uh, neutralize or remove the mask so guys uh, once the the uh, timeline has loaded 100 and uh, you know 100 percent the the circular preloader does uh, one complete circle the f a function then pushes the playhead to frame number two where it stops and also removes the two uh, event listeners guys I'm not gonna take you through the logic that goes into a preloader I just wanted to take you into the logic of how to actually make the circular preloader works and that, that is controlled via these three uh, uh, these five lines guys okay now let me do a publish preview okay so a control enter Oh, I, 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 I still haven't given the, the uh, instance names, guys. So this is uh, the left half is called masked underscore MC, and the right half is called masking underscore MC. Let me ask you, underscore MC. Let's do a control enter uh, again. Fingers crossed. Very, very good. Control enter once again to simulate the download. Everything seems to be working pretty good. Uh, but there's a small problem. These circles, the half circles are not properly aligned, guys. Uh, I need to make sure that this should be properly aligned. Just give me a second. Let's try it now. Mm, yep now the the two circles are properly aligned uh, at the top and the bottom as well pretty good just one more change that I would like to make guys I would want to turn this uh, maroon color into a green color so I'm gonna double click once and then twice again I'm gonna change the color okay let's go back to scene one now we have a, a green color going for the loading up text and for the one uh, last time I'm going to say control enter once again and again to simulate the download it's looking nice it's looking very good thumbs up everything is fine now and guys notice in the output panel once the it's, it's in minus now it's in a negative and this negative uh, let me just show you the output panel see this these uh, the rotation values actually start going in, in a negative once the half circle has done uh, 180 degrees okay so guys uh, I hope you like the tutorial you hope you found, found it useful hope you'll implement it on your uh, website or your project I wish you all the best good luck to you if you have any doubts please do write to me please also visit www.adobecs5.in that's my website guys uh, there's a lot of useful stuff there uh, I have uh, a few photo gallery scripts sitting ready there on the very first page I think I have a script that's uh, very useful very nice it's a JavaScript and also guys uh, please contact me through Skype 
uh, guys uh, I guess I'll see you next time then with yet another flash tutorial maybe action script 3 tutorial probably a uh, reviewer or a firework cs5 tutorial I'm actually migrating to cs5.5 now this tutorial was actually in flash cs5.5 uh, do take very good care of yourself guys bye bye ciao